Yes, hi, Wish. Yes, I am here. Yes, I have a question for you. Uh, how do you think of Cocoli's effect in Kenya? It's a, it has a great effect. Actually, it was very clear for all the, the trials we have carried uh, on. So all the trials we did in Kenya, it was very uh, obvious. It was very clear. There is a, a huge difference between with Cocoli and without Cocoli. When we do the trial with Cocoli, we have noticed the uh, product is very, working very good in terms of the fruit maturity. So fruit maturity are, are better in terms of si size, color, and even the production. And the production in Kenya has been improved uh, starting from 10%, 10%, some farms up to 40%. 40%. So we have a good production. <clears throat> and for different crops, for potatoes we are using, for French beans and vegetable we are using, other crop like flower industry also we are using. So the improvement is always there and the people are very happy with the performance of Cocoli. That good result came from the unique formula of Cocoli. Cocoli, it is not a traditional fertilizer. The Cocoli, it's a, 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 it's a unique formula and a new formula of fertilizers which have a very good idea in terms of soil conditioner. Cocoli, the secret behind the Cocoli, it will regenerate the soil. Now I'll talk about my farmers in Kenya. They, they are using a lot of chemicals to, uh, to buffer the soil pH. So some areas in Kenya, pH of the soil is alkaline. And the other areas, the soil also is acidic. So they are using either lime or gypsum. Those are chemicals to buffer the, the soil pH. And they are using those chemicals in huge quantities. They are using two to two, three tons for one hectare. So those a lot of chemicals to buffer the soil pH, it kill the soil biology. So the, the soil, after many years of using chemicals, the soil is not good. So once we came to those people and we told them, we tell, we told them stop using those chemicals. It depends from crop to another and from soil to another and from area to another according to the situation over there. But some farmers are using only 20 kg and they are getting a very good result and they have stopped using all those kind of ke chemicals and the soil, when they do the soil test before Cocoli and after Cocoli, the soil, it has recovered. The soil is the most important now. If the soil is good, the crop will be good. If the soil is, 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 is suffering, if the soil biology is not there, so the crop will suffer a, a lot. So by using Cocoli, people are very happy. It, it, has, it has a clear effect before and after, before using Cocoli and after using Cocoli. And even even in, in some fields, we have minimized the cost. And I mean, with this dosage of cocoli, 40 to 60 kg per hectare, we have minimized the cost for other chemical consumption and other fertilizers con consumption. So now we are working here in Kenya and even uh, other, other farmers from other countries are still communicating with us to know more about cocoli. They are very happy with the results, and uh, they are ha very happy with this new technology of fertilizers or the new generation of fertilizers, which will help. It will help farmers to regenerate the soil. It will help farmers to minimize the cost for production. It will help far farmers to get more production and the more better fruit quality and the more better fruit maturity. By end of the day, Cocoli will optimize your cost and maximize your profit. It's about of money. More money you are going to gain. Thank you.